Hello. Hello. The Lord has a word to, do, to us today about maturity in Christ. And remember another word that we gave, um, the Lord had said that maturity is measured by Christ likeness. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read to you out of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. This is Paul writing, and he says, You are still worldly, for since there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not worldly? Are you not acting like mere human beings? And remember, when you're in Christ, you're a partaker of the divine nature. So mere human being, that's no longer a good excuse. <laughs> mm, right. So uh, the Father is saying that the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control, are the signs that accompany the mature in Christ. Maturity in him is not impressed by anyone, but finds those who are speaking of my son and moving in his great power very interesting. Hmm. They, the mature, are always looking to become more like their Lord, my son. Therefore, dwelling in or speaking of their lives or their old man is repulsive to them, unless they are lifting up my son and showing what he has done for them, and then demonstrating his power in their lives. Jealousy and quarreling are signs of the immature and indicate that their attention is focused on themselves or something else. Arguments about theology are not for the mature. Listening to the Holy Spirit in both parties will bring them into agreement because the Holy Spirit does not have two opinions. He also doesn't favor one version of scripture over another. And this doesn't mean like the communist Chinese party or a cult Bible. Right. Okay. But he, he says that he wants you to invite him to read with you for he's the spirit of truth. He's the one who mm -hmm. leads you into all truth. And Father says, if you read the scripture on your alone, without the Holy Spirit, you won't get it anyway. So ask him to read with you. Ask him which version. Um, and he says, remember uh, that you don't know what sin is without the Holy Spirit. So he wants, he says that a sign of maturity is judging by what you hear. So mm -hmm. for example... Um, some say that all 501c3s are evil and wicked, and the people who have them are, are not following God. Really? Has that, is that what the Holy Spirit said to them? Or did, they, did the Holy Spirit maybe say something about 501c3s and maybe how he'll do away with them, but not mm -hmm. necessarily that nobody should be part of that? So we have to, you have to judge by what you hear. God judges based on the whole of a person's heart. He's That's looking right. at your heart and he's looking at, are you following the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Because you bear fruit based on following because it's with his power and not your own that you may bear fruit. And remember that when we are disciples of Jesus, we do as Jesus does. And he said, himself said he can only judge by what he hears. And so these, hmm. this is the message of maturity. These are things to look for in those who are mature. And if you find that you struggle with jealousy and quarreling, ask the Lord to help. Say, I want to give this up. Mm -hmm. I give it up. Make it a choice. I give it up. And by your power, mature me. I want to be like Christ. And then be prepared to have strongholds broken <laughs> right. um, to, so that you can agree with the Lord in all things. Yeah, one of the things he told us to help us remember um, about quarreling and so on is to not draw our swords on each other, um, which means really... Um, he wants us to lead with love. He wants us to speak with love. That's what all the fruit of the Spirit is based on, is, is love. Mm -hmm. um, so when you um, disagree or something with another believer, 
in Christ, to draw your sword on them, to have your pride rise up in you so that you have to, you know, dig your heels in and, and fight each other over this thing. Wrong approach. The, the right approach is to, in love, decide together, let's seek the Holy Spirit and see what he has to say about this issue. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's just right. that simple, really. Um, and it's really hard, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the Lord says love never fails in a way mm-hmm. that he, he helped us, um, that he told us, I don't know, a long, while ago, was be the first to race to the bottom. Yeah, right. And so in humility, when you're the first to race to the bottom, that means you're the first to apologize. And you say, what if I didn't do anything wrong? Who cares? <laughs> He's matter. not interested in who did it wrong, who did it right. He's interested in that you're in love and you're mm-hmm. in agreement with him, that you love others well. And so whoever you're having an argument with, whatever, Mm -hmm. (laughs) um, you need to be the one who is humble and who's willing to apologize and willing to um, seek the Holy Spirit and see what he is saying. Exactly. (laughs) Yep. All right. Well, Well, Jesus... Jesus Uh, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Have a great day. Have a great day. Hello. Hello. This is uh, Kirk and Tiffany, and we want to tell you about Seeking the Glory of God Ministries and, more importantly, Destiny Road LLC. DestinyRoadStore.com exists to help those who are at risk or have been rescued from human trafficking. While spreading the gospel to the nations, supporting orphanages, and helping our partner Jimmy in Haiti to spread the gospel there. All of the money that you spend at Destiny Road goes to further the kingdom of heaven. If you would rather, you may donate to Seeking the Glory of God Ministries and the information is in the description box below this video. God bless you and thank you. God bless you.